Last time on Chasing Cardboard. Dude, good to see you. Good to see you. So you blocked off all tomorrow, right? All tomorrow. Yeah. When you told me to bring extra t-shirts, I thought you were joking. Six million cards. Yeah. That, we're going into okay. a house yeah. full of cards. This room, we actually had it stacked to here. Man, oh man, we're gonna be here for a while loading this up. He had multiples of everything. As of right now, no mantles. The history of sports cards goes back over a hundred years. We are on the pursuit to find the biggest and most interesting sports card collections across the United States. Join us as we travel the large interstates and the narrow unpaved roads in our journey to continue chasing cardboard. This is a... Just a binder. Oh, man. Oh. 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 There's the... Orange. That's the orange. Kevin Durant. <laughs> Keep that book out. So, uh, gold. Oh, my gosh. Gold. Second check. <laughs> <laughs> See if there's a gold LeBron. Gold LeBron. Yeah, there was. I saw it. Keep going. Gold Durant. Come on. Right there. Gold Durant. That's awesome. 2007. Um, oh, there's some autos in here. Jarrett Jack. JJ Reddick. Gosh, it brings back memories. Luke Walton. Luke Walton. <laughs> Mike. Sweating? A little bit. So I know we've been digging through stuff. We can't really look, but check this out. 94 flare. Okay. 94 flare Flip Jordan. It. Oh, snap. <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> What's that? I would think so. I've never seen that before. Michael Jordan auto that you found in a random box while stacking a dolly. That's why buying collections can be really fun. 93 tops unopened boxes. What's this price say on them? $9. You think we could sell them for $9? You think you should sell just 10 bucks, make a little profit. Uh, look what I just found. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more grants, a couple golds. Some of the coolest stuff I saw was probably the Michael Jordan autograph. We think he's real, at least. We've still got hundreds of boxes to put in there. Percentage-wise, what would you say we're at? Maybe 60, if I'm being really generous. But there's just so much volume. Yeah. You've seen it. This is amazing. It's just a lot of stuff. It feels like, like there's no 93 SP stuff. There should be. There's no 2011 Tops Update stuff. There should be, like with the era that all this stuff is yeah. from. So I'm wondering if either he, somebody came through, but how would they find it? Like, that's the other thing. Like, yeah. I don't... Good luck finding anything, you know, accurately, unless you dig through all of it. So maybe it's just, we just haven't found it yet. That's what I can hope. With this type of, this era, you feel like there should be a box or two of just the really crazy good stuff. Yes. Which we haven't seen. Correct. Which surprises me. Yeah. But Agreed. again, we're not, we're, if we're only 50% done, yeah. that means there's 50% we haven't seen yet. So all right, back to work. Get to moving. Still no mantles, but we are still on a mission. We think we're going to find them somewhere in this giant house full of cards. We finally relented and decided we can't keep everything. I mean, the reality is it's just too much folk. And so we've had to make the decision to say there's just going to be some stuff that we're not taking with us. We're literally giving them away. Hopefully somebody will come. They, have, they know some people that will maybe come get them and that'll be great keeps us from having to haul them around. I'd say a lot of it is junk wax, and we knew that. That's the price you pay. The entry point that we had, we knew we were gonna have to just sort through and throw out junk wax, but there's a lot of good early 2000s stuff, a lot of sealed stuff. We heard rumors that there was 100,000 sealed packs, and I think there actually might be 100,000 sealed packs. It's crazy. This whole left side is full of sealed wax from, from packs to sealed boxes, and then we got all these sealed sets. I would say we're learning that despite all the junk wax, there was enough value here to make this really, really worth our time. Like that alone could be a normal collection that we might buy. Mm. It's just this. Mm -hmm. We have not checked out the stuff in the garage. So all this. Oh my gosh. They're just boxes full 
of sealed wax. I mean, what the heck? Upper deck basketball, upper deck basketball. I'm trying not to breathe in the mouse poop. That's a wrap. Mike, is that a wrap? Man, I hope so. Can we go home? <laughs> it's almost dark. Yeah. Wendell? Thank you. Thanks, Ty, for everything. Yeah, thanks for all your help. We appreciate Enjoy it. Enjoy yourself. Really, really. Have a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you so much for hanging today. Oh, pleasure. Yeah, thanks. Oh. God bless you. Thank you. We're good. So any gate. parting words, any, any wisdom you want to give us before we leave? Always put God first. Simple, but deep. There's really no way to truly express the way we were feeling today, except maybe with exhausted excitement. This is definitely not the norm for us to go bidding on an auction, so we were entering uncharted territory. We had a few photos to bid by, but ironically, what was in the photos didn't get loaded up in the truck. But right now, all that matters is we want to get home and start going through this U-Haul. 11 hours of straight packing, filming. We fill basically an entire 26 foot U-Haul with cards. Uh, I mean, my goodness. <laughs> Wendell and family were just great. The friends were great. Couldn't have asked for a more inviting atmosphere. I'm a little bummed. I'm actually really bummed about the Mickey Mantles and the stuff that I saw to come. I mean, I, I guess they could still pop up, but the whole time we're thinking we're gonna uncover them, but didn't uncover them and I don't think they're back there so I'm a little frustrated with that but I think they had the right intentions I don't think they tried to do anything you know suspicious to, to take those cards but man the boys were the MVP of the day they they didn't complain one bit they worked for 10 straight hours but they I mean they loaded this 26 footer by themselves we are just so blessed to have two awesome boys who wanted to be here to help and uh, I think we're gonna have to do something a little special for them. Say thank you. We stopped for gas, Ty's coming in the U-Haul, and we're just ready to get home. I think it says we're gonna get back to Dallas at somewhere two o'clock in the morning-ish. Just a really, really long day. All right, so you know we love sports cards. Obviously, we love sports cards. We also love technology and technology platforms. And when you can blend the two worlds together, it's a beautiful thing. Well, Loop is a beautiful thing. If you haven't checked out Loop, I encourage you to do so now. It is one of the only 24-7 marketplaces that allows you as a collector to go buy packs, boxes, breaks, you name it, all the time Loop is running for your desires in the sports card world. The best part is they vet out sellers from hobby shops to normal guys like me who go on there and sell so you can have peace of mind. They're saying, hey, you watch Chasing Cardboard? We're gonna give you 30 bucks to go spin on the Loop platform. All you have to do is click the link in the top right corner or the link in the show notes and you're gonna get $30 free from Loop. Stop being boring, go try Loop, enjoy. Now, back to the show. All right, so we're digging through boxes here day three are we in day three it's a blur uh we're still trying to unload the trailer we're making space and as we're doing this we're taking like some of these glass plastic cases out and matt's like don't throw these away we should look through them and of course he goes through them and what does he find tiger woods rookie reggie jackson chrome archives autograph <laughs> this is sweet william perry refrigerator this is why, like in a case like a uh, collection like this, you just can't blow stuff, push stuff to the side. You have to actually take the time to dig through little things like this and uncover multiple hundreds of dollars of cards. It's the fun part about any of this is digging through this. So a lot of these that we stuck in here, especially the back half, is all boxes of sealed packs. And the guy Wendell thought there was like you know tens of thousands of sealed packs, and I, he's exactly right. There is, but. We're going through this and you know it's just there's some really great stuff look for the 93 autograph jeter rookie card this is obviously a buyback uh or a reprint but the 2009 sp it's crazy like you know all these are probably 
just packs. Like, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, 2007 8 Tops basketball. I mean, half this thing is full of 7 8 basketball. That's Kevin Durant, our Al, Al Horford, Kevin Durant mainly. It's probably 150 there, but these go for 20 bucks a pack. Again, we have so much more to unpack, but you're going through stuff and you found um, this is 2011, right? 2011 Tops. And again, just here's the 1950 Bowman, you know, minis. You got the Tom Brady gold. You got some other golds over here, lots of Cam Newtons. Mizzou Tiger playing Gabbert. This stuff, you know, it, it seems very unexciting, but this stuff adds up, man. Gold, Tom Brady's. Oh. <gasps> Scherzer, 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 Scherzer. Oh, it keeps going. <laughs> the sweat. The sweat is so worth it now. My back hurts, but Max Scherzer, M-I-Z. Oh, we got Kershaw too. Let's see if we can find Kershaw. Oh, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Clayton Kershaw rookies. The wait was worth it with this. All right, so this is a uh, storage unit number two. We have cards to go through, some binders that we like. Back in this corner, we have sealed boxes and sets. Actually, this is all sets. All this side is sealed wax, and most of it's packs. Like, there's just boxes and boxes of packs of cards. And this is storage unit number two. So, I mean, we're, we're getting to the point now where, I mean, we're gonna have to move this pretty quick. It's good stuff. Like, this will sell to show. This takes time, but it's actually kind of nice having a walkway. We have one of our storage units, we have a walkway. Feels really good. Didn't get the mantles. We got crazy amounts of wax. We got insane amounts of 2007, 8. We have lots of, uh, lots of sealed basketball stuff that we didn't expect. We ran into so many good rookies, like the Kershaws, the Scherzers, the Buster Poseys, lots of each rows, number stuff. I think all in all, like we're gonna come out probably tripling our money. Just take a little bit more work than we thought, but that's okay. All right, so I know the question you're dying to get the answer to, and that is how much did we pay for this collection? Well, before we tell you how much, I want you to tell us what you think we paid. Here's four options for you. Put your comments below, tell us what you think we paid. So it's late. We're in between two storage units. We have kind of what you see there, and then we got a lot of random packs and sealed wax in our other storage unit. We're trying our best to consolidate these in less than a few days. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it work. I am in here, it's 11 o'clock at night and I, the anticipation's killing me with all the stuff out here. And so I'm just sorting through more stuff, trying to get things organized and figure, figure out kind of what's going on. And we just got <laughs> stacks of rookie cards that I've been setting out, refractors and autos and I mean, this is just great stuff. I mean, but again, there's no rhyme or reason to what he's doing here. It's just, you got old school Diamond Kings Pinnacle, you know, mid nineties tops with 91 Donruss, and then you got 2001 tops. I, <laughs> so amidst all this craziness, and we kind of knew this was gonna get out of hand, we decided to grab shelves at Home Depot and start just stacking things with wax and stacking things with random packs to get some sort of like, rhyme and reason with what we're doing. I don't know if it's helped a lot yet, but we're starting to get a pathway. Even 24 hours later, we're getting a pathway and some organization to start figuring out how to move this stuff. So again, another random box that I'm digging through. So, I mean like, it's 2018 top sticker collection. That's got Judge in it. It's probably 30 bucks. Uh, which is interesting. So these are the 2014 Posters, basically. <laughs> Oversizers, Brady on top there. Decent vintage and decent shape. It's, again, unsleeved, just sitting here. There's 78 Star Wars. Or is that 77? That's great. Oh, and there you go. Boba Fett, rookie. <laughs> it's 
funny calling Boba Fett. It's rookie. Hello. Piazza Auto. <laughs> Cal Ripken autograph. Oh, uh, that's sweet. I'm going to never sleep. This is the problem, right? You keep seeing this stuff. You never want to go to bed because you're itching for the next pack. So this is 2010. This is the Topps Legend. They had the chrome, the refractor, the golds, and he had an entire case full of these. It's funny how Pools was already in the Legend set in 2010, but I mean, these are five to $20 a card, and there's probably 60 to 70 of these right here. Chris Snowpeck. Nobody knows this guy. I don't know this guy. I know Matt doesn't know this guy. Legacy collection, number 63 out of 100. These bad boys, this is 97. This is highly sought after. This is a flare showcase, like insert that people care about. Jimmy Brown, uh, 2001 Topps Archives. This is, but how about this? Sitting there without a case, not in perfect condition by any stretch, but it's a 2001 Donner's Classics. Albert Pujols rookie, number to 585. I think we should open some of these. I, this, this piqued my interest earlier. But the 93 tops baseball, looking for the gold of Derek Jeter. Seems like it's worth our time to open some. What do you think, Matt? You're looking for the gold. Um, you get the gold. There's, there's the base. So you know what it looks like. Now we just want to get a gold version of this. So that it's kind of interesting with the gold version of this card because a Jim Mint version of this, a PSA 10 is probably two grand-ish. A PSA 9 is 150. All right, last one. This is the problem when you love cards so much. You have this many packs out here, you can't, you can't help yourself. Bummer. Still fun though. How bad it's gotten, right? I'm picking up stacks of stuff. <laughs> this is my guy, Robinson. David Robinson, rookie card. And then <laughs> just a measly little Tiger Woods rookie. It's like, once again, we can't stop. But the funny thing is like, he has a lot of this stuff here where it's rubber band and our tendency is to kind of just ignore it because it's rubber band. But we found some really good stuff already in the rubber band st stacks. And we can already tell, right? There's some good chromes and these are cards you can't overlook. I mean, stuff like this, you know, where it's, he sleeved it. So you wanna, you wanna go through it. I mean, there's just endless amounts of these and I just dropped one. I mean, so for instance, we'll just, my gosh, need to get a table in here. I need to stop. I really do. This one's like half done. Okay, we've been, <laughs> we'll go at this backwards. Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> Who played in 2000? 2000 Bowman, what card are we looking? We've seen like these sprinkled around and we keep thinking, where is the Brady? Where is the Brady? And we just found it. We need to sleeve this thing right now. Oh my gosh. The sleeves are over there, aren't they? <laughs> you coming? We just keep going. It's midnight. We opened up another set. Well, not even a set. I mean, what, what is that box? It doesn't matter. There's a pack of 30, 93 tops gold, and we pulled a very sweet looking Derek Jeter. It's time to go to sleep though. This is good. It's a good way to end.
We've done everything. Basketball, football, baseball. We started with some 93 and we're ending with some 93. Let's go sleeve this bad boy up. This is day four. We uh, just got Dutch Brothers coffee. We're grabbing Chick-fil-A, which is uh, the routine that Matt and I have kind of anchored on. And we're trying to figure things out at this point. But it's important that we get a sausage egg scramble in our bellies before we do anything. We are reaching that point where we just realize that we have to start moving a lot of things. And it's really easy to like kind of just think you're gonna sell stuff, but we know good and well, if we don't move this stuff quick, it'll just sit here and collect dust. And two years from now, we're gonna be mad that we paid 24 months of storage unit fees. But there is a lot of really good stuff that we just keep unpacking. Even today, in about two hours, we pulled out multiple Barry Sanders rookies, Albert Pujols jersey cards, um, refractors and, and die cuts from the late 90s that are hard to find. 2000 Bowman, again. It's, it's like your first time playing golf for the year, right? This is your good shot and it brings you back for the next one. So now we have to go through this whole box. We just saw 2000 Bowman and I can't leave 2000 Bowman just sitting there. That's how we found last night's Tom Brady. Hold on. It's uh, Wendell. Can we take it? Wendell, what's up, man? How are you? Hey, how are you doing this afternoon? You'll never believe what I'm doing. I'm sorting cards four days later. Sorting cards? When'd you get into that? <laughs> <laughs> are you calling to thank me for cleaning out that house again? Yes, I am totally thanking you for getting that done. <laughs> as, as you know, yes. we had those missing mantles and other cards and I have been praying like crazy for them to show up well guess what they God showed up. up and it turns out that a neighbor had them that one of our family members unbeknowing to us had give to them for safekeeping and everybody forgot about it and we got them back. They're on their way to you. What? Yes, sir. How about that? <laughs> I feel so, so, so much better now. <laughs> wow. That, uh... We tore up the house, and as you guys did, we tore up cars. We did everything we could think of. And finally, the neighbor said, hey, what about these? <laughs> wow that is i don't even know what to say i almost just kind of i kind of wrote them off thinking that that well, was that i i did too but you know how god works so anyway i've got them in the mail to you certified with mm -hmm. signature and they're coming to you buddy awesome that's such a cool story man thanks so much for calling the timing couldn't You're have been better quite welcome i'm gonna go mow my yard now and mow happily <laughs> All right, brother. Thanks so much, Wendell. Um, bye bye. All right, see ya. What the heck? <laughs> we kind of expected that these were missing. Like we thought they were gone. We had inclinations. They had mentioned like maybe they were stolen or misplaced, and we just kind of thought this all sounds fishy. But we knew Wendell and family. Like they seemed as authentic as they come. That is a crazy turn of events. He just and now he's texting me tracking numbers so they are on their way what a man what a sweet thing i don't even know what to say this is gonna be awesome so i guess we'll show you the mantles here pretty soon too the mantles have returned we'll see if everything else is returned but the mantles are on their way i should ask them about that but i think the mantles are coming cool rock and roll all right so earlier we asked you how much did we pay for this collection if you guessed d you're wrong if you guessed b you're wrong if you guessed c you are still wrong we paid $8,200 for this amazing collection from Archie in a total blind bid. If you guessed A, you guessed correctly. Okay, so we're two weeks removed from when we first unloaded everything here in Dallas, Texas, and I'm already having to fly down here more than I expected. Those storage units don't sell themselves. As folks know, as you sold cars before, it takes a lot of work. Uh, but we, in the middle of all that, we were able to send some cards off to SGC to get graded. 
really as a way to accelerate getting our money back. And in the midst of that, we got some outstanding grades, some uh, stacks of Kershaw rookies and Scherzers that came back as tens. We got the Brady that came back as a seven. Um, plenty of others that you're gonna see in other videos where we are just ecstatic to see the grades that came back. I also was able to squeeze in the two Mickey Mantles that Wendell was kind enough to overnight to us. And we got those out to SGC. And the bummer in all of this is that both of those mantles right here came back as counterfeit. We kind of knew when we got the cards, we felt them. I knew almost instantly that it probably was not real, but we wanted to, we wanted to cast any shadow of doubt out and get those into SGC's hands. And they came back and, and uh, a couple days later, revealed that they were counterfeit. So the irony in this whole story, and really the funny part to me is that these are what drew us in, but we ended up with 6 million cards and a lot of them that exceeded our expectations in so many ways. So all in all, just a great story. So we have started kind of sorting out some packs. Uh, we have, I mean, we have so many packs, right? I mean, we're talking from basketball, football, baseball, we got hockey, we got non-sport. We're trying to pull out the stuff that we know we can sell for $20 or more each pack, uh, and I'd say there's probably a good thousand of those. Uh, and some of these are here and some of these are kind of scattered out. We're just trying to make better decisions with how we handle the sealed packs. Um, all right, that's Marcel. Let me take this. So we're working on a deal with Marcel. Hey man, what's going on? Hey, Ty, it's Marcel. What are Ooh. you doing? Take a guess. <laughs> We're, uh, I'm here in Texas filming a little bit, putting yeah, together the last so. bits of an episode. What's up? Um, so listen, yeah. I, uh, I don't mean to bug you. I, I sent you a text earlier. I don't know if you got it, but I, I looked at that, uh, that Excel sheet on that large wax deal that you sent me. Yeah. And, um, it's spectacular, man. I'm super excited. I don't think we should we should wait on this. If if you can get down here to Vegas like tomorrow, like yesterday, <laughs> that would be great because I think we need to go out to California and look at this immediately. Okay, so I, I thought it was good, but you think it's that good? No, I mean it's. I haven't seen something like this. And maybe forever. I mean, this is really special. Like this, this needs to be looked at. Okay. Um, can we make it out this week? Okay, I'm getting the head nod from Matt. Let me uh, let me see if I can make it work. <laughs> let me see. I'll try. I'll try to see if we can book flights and get down there. I agree with you, though. I'm pretty uh, excited yeah, about this. Head nod from Matt. That always helps. Uh, agreed. Agreed. Uh, cool. Good timing, man. Thanks for the call. See ya. Okay, buddy. All right, cool. Bye. We're going to Vegas, baby. Thank you.